from Lanesburg to Beaufort West is about 200 kilometers, I would say, roundabout. And uh, that's where we're headed now. We've also another place on the N1 we've always just traveled through, never explored. And we're going to explore it now and sleep there tonight. Yes. I'm looking forward to Beaufort West. Me too, I have fond memories. My mom and I did a little exploring once on our trip from Pretoria to Cape Town. Oh really? Let's but that's many moons ago. <laughs> so let's see what it looks like now. Can't remember much, yes. We just stopped here to fill up ourselves with some fuel. But check out that old car. That is super cool. Brilliant. Eh? Afrique du Sud. Beautiful. Beautiful. Stunning. Beautiful. Yeah, love that. Got some snacks. On Prince Albert Road. We are entering Beaufort West. Late afternoon, very cloudy. Yeah. Quite gloomy, hey? Very gloomy, not quite gloomy. The all those capital rail of, tracks. Yeah, yeah, I see them. <laughs> the capital of the Karoo, they say. Yes, I heard that. So I think this town has its fair share of old buildings. That's for sure. Now it's also a biggish town, eh? Oh yeah. Over 30,000 residents already in 2011 census. Oh wow. So uh, you can imagine. The other thing is, is that um, this is the N1 going through the center of Beaufort West. Right. So it's like crazy. I think always. dam seems to be the Khamka Dam and there's a sign that says it's 80% full. Oh, that's good. It is quieter than during the day. Yes. I must say, which is great. Well, it's just past five now, so... Churches, yes. which I hope we can read the names of. Great Trek 1938. Oh, uh, it's the tracks. Yes. We can come back here. Yeah? Uh, we definitely will in 1988. Nice. This is the Beaufort West Museum. Oh. Look at this church. This is Ooh. phenomenal. I love the contrast with the white. Oh, very nice. I told you my mom and I came, we stayed here regularly and the Oasis Hotel was <laughs> our haunt. The two of us and her little dog. Oh, yeah. My dad had to take care of the other dogs at home <laughs> and the house. That was when you two came to Cape Town? Yes. Several times to come and visit my aunt. Okay. Girls road trip. Awesome, man. Eh? Oh, it was. Good times. Look at this. Christ Church, Anglican Church. Oh, look at this. What do you mean? Yeah. Okay, so we've got a few stops. That's right. for sure. I want to go down here. Alright. You're on a mission. I am on a little mission. While we've got daylight. I understand. Look at this big structure. Yeah. Wash bay. It's before 
trucks and stuff. Okay, that would make sense. I've never seen one like that. We're going underneath this bridge? Yes, ma'am. I thought they only go over rivers. Well, I suppose so, this so, so is a river up? sometimes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sometimes it probably is. That's incredible. Oh, that is a river, yes. And there's the blockhouse. No way. Yes, way. Oh no. I don't we... know about this road. Looks quite sloshy, eh? Hey? Yeah, it does. That was a bit deep. Incredible, eh? There's the blockhouse. That is amazing. And the roof is off and all of that, but it's still, the structure's still there. That's still fantastic. Intact. Yeah, absolutely. It's exactly what I wanted to come and see. I'm so glad we did. Yeah. I think we made it in like half an hour later. It's going to be dark. It's going to be dark. Yeah. I'm glad we came. Yeah, fantastic, babe. Now I've got to turn around and get out of here. Yes. It's so cool to see this. Fantastic. I love this bridge. I didn't even know that uh, there was a blockhouse here. Neither did I, until I did a bit of research. Wow. That wasn't too bad. No. How far my trust for you hasn't come. But <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even too worried about that. <laughs> Look at this beautiful board again, the main road. Yeah. The detail, eh? Crazy. Even the post office yeah. must have been pretty spectacular in its day. Love it. Municipality. Yeah, I passed this on our way in, yeah. but I wanted to come and have a look. was a monument here, but it's missing. Yeah, I remember much more here. Oh but there are still plaques. Yes. I just want to turn around. That's sad. It's very little left here, but the buildings are very old, eh? There's a train track running through here. Train lines, narrow gauge train line. And there's a little train inside there. I wonder if this still works. I must turn around and find a parking spot, my angel. <laughs> yes, I think so. I think there's place in front to go in. Yes. I've got to come and check this out before the light's gone. Yeah, I, I, I want to break it to you that I... I don't think so. No, these gates closed, yeah. yeah but there in front, it's wide open. Oh, just okay. walking, yeah. You can walk all along the tracks. Yeah. Is 
this looks like it was some water feature. Oh, war memorial. Something on the top there is missing as well. Oh. 1914 to 1918 and this is the second world war 'cause this it looks as if they're working on it, yeah. The new grass being planted. is this I'm telling you if I was here and this train was running I'd be on it look at this little locomotive got a diesel engine in it and the little carts at the back that you sit on go around to the other side. And you have these little carts that you sit on. How fantastic is that? Love this. So happy I could get in and see this place. 
it's definitely where my mom and I came to walk around, but I can't remember much yeah. detail. This church. Yes. Interesting. Two towers on either side. Oh. Eh? Very interesting. Mm. Amazing these towns with their main roads so incredibly busy. Yes. Especially if it's the N1. But then one street off. A lot nice quieter. And quiet, yeah. Yes. Yeah, we're losing light fast. It's a winter time. Yep, how's the blue light? Oh, look how pretty this is. Yeah. I think I must go down one more. No. No. Okay, down here. Yeah. Wow. There's no gate on there. So this is the Dutch Reformed Church office. office yes. I just want to get to this monument. Church, beautiful, and there's a kitty cat. There is another monument. Whoa, born March 1838. Passed away 1860, 1866. Yeah. Look how beautiful this is. Whoa. This is really stunning. What a beautiful church. But I'm losing light incredibly fast. Pretty church, but unfortunately, beautiful. Can't see anything anymore. Food and accommodation. Let's do that. In that order. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Let's hope they haven't put a gate in there now. <laughs> we Ooh, we nice. would have been in deep, 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 deep trouble. I see. The police station is opposite. So yes. Maybe someone would have come to our rescue. I'm sure. 
Okay, let's go and get food. At our purple place? Yes, ma'am. Because we're going to do takeaways, right? Yeah, for sure. It's too chilly to eat out tonight. Oh, I see Donkin. It's Donkin Street, the main road. Okay. And we've heard about Sir Rufain Donkin. Yes, we have. Right. So, I quickly want to tell you, because it's quite a quite a love story. Ah la la. Although it's a bit macabre. <laughs> um, okay. They call it the tenderest of love stories. The street was named in honor of Sir Rufain Donkin, who acted as governor of the Cape Colony from 1820 to 1821. When his wife Elizabeth passed away, he was so devastated that he had her head embalmed and her head traveled with him everywhere until oh, no. he died and uh, her head was buried with him when he passed away. Oh, it's, honestly that's a bit weird eh? Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> Here's our place. Yes. And they open it till eight. Yes. <laughs> Luckily we checked. Yes. <gasps> so we've got our supper and we just found out our favorite takeaway shop in Balfour West has got new owners. Yeah. yeah. So what we'll do is let's check out their food and see how it tastes. Yes, I hope it's good. So do I. Check out the Hockertees here, eh? Our shedding is expected at 10. Yep. It's now half past 6. By then I'm going to be snoring, let me tell you that. <laughs> I this am is it, yeah. dead tired. Is it here? Yes. On the corner? Yes. You were correct. <laughs> yes, just to go down. <laughs> okay. yeah. Same property. I thought we were further down the road. De Nessie. Yes, the nest. Pretty cool. I'm ready for my nest. I'm there ready to go. roost. <laughs> it's Honestly, golden. I'm dog tired today. No, it's wild. I hope to have some energy back tomorrow. I think I went to bed too late yep. last night. And up too early. Yep. This is it. That sounds right. Cool beans. Let's take a walk to the room. Number one, yeah, it is. This is pretty cool. Love it, love it, love it. After a long day, this is going to be so cool. Jacuzzi, not for moozy. Okay, now it's time to offload the vehicle. This huge thing over here is a fat cook with chicken and mayonnaise on it. It's enormous. Look at the size of my hand next to this thing. It's huge, like, hey. That works for me. 
I want a tomato stew. Oh, okay. But they don't serve it anymore. Yes. With the new owners. With the new owners, yeah. And I really wasn't in the mood for what you're having, so I chose a fit cook. Well, I've got curry and rice. Stunning. I'm looking forward to this. I'm starving, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Before we get stuck into that food, I want to say thank you to you for joining us on this trip here in Beaufort West. We are going to settle down now, fill our tummies, have some refreshments to drink, and then I am going to sit down, watch TV, and most likely fall asleep. But I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning Good in morning. Beaufort West. Yeah, <laughs> stunning. Nice <laughs> coffee. How did you sleep? Yeah, rain in the Karoo in the middle of the night. Oh, it was fantastic. Now I slept like a baby. Well, you woke me up to tell me, listen to the rain. Hello. Obviously, it was a <laughs> monumental event. No, no, I loved it. It was pouring with rain. It was really a lot of water falling yeah. last night. I couldn't believe that it didn't wake me yeah. up. It's still dark outside and it's after seven already. Yeah, what I'm going to do is we're going to enjoy our coffee. I'm going to load the things onto the car and we'll wait for it to lighten up and we'll leave. Yeah, yeah. and we'll hit the road. And we'll check the rest of Beaufort West. Yeah. What we can. What we can, We yeah. have a, a, a long road ahead of us today. We do, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Check out time, nine o'clock. Uh, we're checking out before that. <laughs> Slide little drizzle. Look at all the water here. Oh, this is pretty cute. Look at all the bright spots over there. Yeah, I think they have a few units, eh? Yeah. I think when it's not raining, it's pretty neat over here, eh? But it's, they need the rain. Isn't it inside? It's Whoa. Chilly, oh. It is pretty cold outside. Jojo tank to catch the rainwater. It's chilly, eh? It is. I wish we could stay in the nest. Yeah, it would be stunning, eh? Okay, let me go and drop that key in. The windows are steaming up. <laughs> Let's go. There's two of us in the car, and one of us in this car has an incredible liking for hash browns, McDonald's hash browns. And we don't often get to towns, little towns where we stay over, where they have a McDonald's. So we are just gonna go and collect some hash browns. Yeah, look, anyone can say what they want to. There's no beating McDonald's hash browns. <laughs> and I don't, I'm not often awake at this time in a town where there's a McDonald's. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take full advantage. So let's go and get us, or get you some hash browns. Yeah, I know, I know it's not your fave. No. It's the best time of the day in a biggish town. Yep. Before it gets really busy. It's got a slight drizzle, eh? Yeah. It's great that they're getting rain though. Fantastic. I think it's going to be like this all day, it looks like. There we go. Two Booty breakfast buns <laughs> and three hash browns. Did I get a bonus? You got a bonus. I right. deserve it. Thank <laughs> you so much. Okay. I had to just come and finish off this church because it got too dark last night. But it's incredible. I just don't see a cornerstone. But this is a beautiful building. 
And look at this fence. It's steel. Crazy. And there's another monument. How beautiful is that? That is gorgeous. Now there's a building I want to go to. Starting to rain a little worse. Chris Barnard exhibition. Let's go in here and have a look see. Chris Barnard expedition. No, Chris Barnard. But you're going on a Chris Barnard expedition. <laughs> expedition, now. yes. Exhibition. <laughs> So, this, hi, hi, this is the old town hall, fantastic, look at that bell at the top there. The old town hall and then there's the church down here, to come and have a look. So, let's see what we can find inside. So unfortunately, I'm not allowed to film inside the Chris Barnard exhibition. But I can film from the outside. Look at this. So it's the 150th year celebration of the Great Trek. And look at this one. This is the 100th year celebration. Christian Yetlin Barnard. Oh, it's the missionary rectory from 1868 to 1964. Wow! And this is the birthplace of Chris and Marius Barnard. What? So he was born here. That's incredible. Hello, hello. Wow, how old is this church? It's more than 150 years. Wow! Yes, and as I've explained at the town hall, yes. this exhibition is uh, like yes, some of the pictures of the old residents of Beaufort West. Yes. Which was uh, the very young during the fourth movements. And this is some of the family uh, pictures and uh, what they could remember during the fourth school movements okay. out of the door. Sure. Yeah, but this is the, the Dutch Reformed Missionary Church where Professor Barnard and also uh, Dr. Marius Barnard spent most of the childhood there. Because his father was the reverend here, yes. eh? Ah, okay. Mr. Adam Hendrik Barnard was the reverend here at the Missionary Church. 
Yeah, look how beautiful that is, eh? And uh, the pulpit is also just a replica. Oh, is it not the original? Yeah. yeah. Which uh, displays some of the developments over the years. Uh, of uh, Beaufort West, yes. yes. Like uh, from our economy, the schools, yes, and yes. Uh, the houses, which is also mainly uh, information that we got from people from Beaufort West. Oh, okay, yes. so it's like passed on. Yes, and then we also have a small exhibition on this side uh, of during the Anglo Boer War. Okay. When the British were stationed here in Beaufort West. Okay. I went and I, yesterday when I went for a drive, I saw the. Um, Blockhouse there by that bridge. Yes, yeah, yes, I did. That is actually the one that is still standing. Standing there, there yes. And uh, the town hall next door was also used as a hospital during uh, the War. Okay, yes. interesting, eh? Sure. Okay. So first we're gonna move to the back, and then we're gonna come back. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. So this is also an uh, entire of artifacts that was donated to us by people of okay. the uh, Beaufort West. And this uh, is a hearse, eh? Yes, it was actually one that was used here in Beaufort West. What? So, uh, but it's a beautiful hearse, eh? Sure. And then we also have some of the wagons that was used by the people who traveled from uh, down to the farm. Oh, uh, okay, look at that, eh? Sure. And uh, we also have the first uh, fire wagon, fire brigade of the Buffett West Municipal. <laughs> Look at this. Is this the first original one? Yes. Crazy. Uh, restoration work has been done and then just for the... Yes, of course. Painting, yes, uh, yes. That's all, but but all this is it. Yes. Okay. And here we have the oldest pear tree that was planted in 1850 in Buffett West. What? That's amazing, eh? That they'd keep this. That's fantastic. Yes, this is also part of our town's history. <laughs> <laughs> so this is part of the house now? Yes, but uh, everything that's inside would make it just so we could visit this idea of oh, the house. Okay. So we might have looked when the barn of them. Yes, yes. But we do have an original chair that was that stayed here in the passion okay. of, of the, the time the Barnard family lived here. Yes, yes. In the bedroom, in the master bedroom. Okay. It's the original one that belonged to the Barnard family. Fantastic, eh? And also one of the uh, old washing machine that was also added. <laughs> <in the bedroom. laughs> I love this geezer to make hot water, eh? Yes. <laughs> Family. Is this the original chair? Yes, well, they stayed there in the bus Incredible. So all the other was donated? Yes. I think that Chris Barnard lived here, yeah, that's like crazy. <laughs> uh, some of the chores that, that he and his brothers also had to do was uh, clean the wooden floor. The polish the floors, yes. <laughs> and this house is still original? Yes, yes. but uh, some uh, restoration work have been done in okay, the yes. We have a school with the name uh, Teska Memorial School. Okay. Which is named after Mr. Polis Teska. Wow. Yes, and there's another primary school named A.H. Um, Barnard. Yes. Primary school named after Evan Barnard. And that, that's, uh, that's Chris Barnard's father? Yes. Interesting. Just across the street from Barnard Primary School, we'll also find a secondary school. 
high school. Yes. With the name Bastianza Secondary School, which is also named after the Reverend Bastianza. Okay. And this is also some of the paintings that was also given as gifts. Oh, as okay, nice. Did, did Professor Barnard give these gifts? Yes. Oh, nice. Eh? The old radio. Incredible, eh? <coughs> and on that side we just have uh, how the name Beaufort West uh, came about. Like, um, Beaufort West was firstly known as a farm. Yes. With the name with Flakke. Yes. It yes. belonged to Mr. Abraham and Jacob de Clare. Yes. And later on, uh, Lord Charles Somerset, the governor of the British colony, yes. bought the farm from him. And uh, later on, he renamed the farm, which was Wave Lacta, and renamed it after his uh, father, okay. who was the fifth Duke of Beaufort. Oh, That's okay. where they named Beaufort. But later yes, on, yes. they added uh, a, a West. Because of all the other Beauforts, Fort Beaufort, Fort Beaufort, yes. Fort Beaufort yes, yes, I remember That's that now, yeah. yeah. And uh, we, we also have some of the Napoleon relics. These are Napoleon relics? Yes. So uh, when uh, Napoleon was defeated in Europe, yes, and um, he was sent to exile in uh, on Saint Helena Island, yes, and uh, later on he couldn't maintain that lifestyle that he was used to, yes, and he was advised to sell off uh, some of his belongings to keep that maintain yes, that yes. lifestyle intact, and uh, one of the lieutenants on the island uh, bought uh, some of the small pieces, okay, which he gave to his son. And later on, the son passed it on to his son, and he moved to Beaufort West and okay. he donated it to the Beaufort West municipality. That's amazing, eh? Do you think that Napoleon Bonaparte used this? Crazy. <laughs> Professor Barnard. Yes. Uh, with the type of man he was. Yes, yes. And the title that he had as one of the most renowned art surgeons in the world. Yes. Um, his last wish for was uh, for the day when he passed away. He wanted to be cremated. Yes. And his ashes scattered in the garden. In oh, the really? Passing it out. They took half of the ashes and they buried it in front of the headstone over here. Oh, and the okay. other half, uh, they tried to scatter it as much as possible uh, on the grass. Oh, so they buried some of his ashes yes. over there and the rest they scattered here? Yeah. They tried to scatter it as oh, much fantastic. as possible. Oh, fantastic. That is so cool. Can I go on there? Uh, okay, cool. To think that his ashes are buried here. Yeah. yeah. It's like amazing to think that he was born here, yeah, eh? And he had a entirely a really strong bond specifically with uh, Buffett West. And the church, his, his mother was the organist mm -hmm. of the church, ah. and she was out of hearing. And uh, he was the one that used to sit next to uh, uh, most of the Sundays to yes. instruct the like, uh, which teams they're gonna, she had to play, ah, okay. when she could start, when she could stop. So he had a really strong bond specifically with, with, the, the with his also. mother and his yes. church, yeah. And because it reminded him a lot of Yes, his of course. How interesting was that? It was such a cool visit. Such a cool visit. Interesting, hi. Eh? Where to next? I've got a place I'd like to go and investigate. <laughs> Listen, it's chilly, hi. Eh? It's freezing, let me tell you. <laughs> Freezing. You know, Chilliness and I aren't the best of friends. Oh, yep. look at this beautiful building. Yeah, there are so many of them around I here. I know. Savoy Hotel. Savoy.
at this bridge, 1961. Wow! That's longer ago than I would have thought. Yeah. Oh, so lots of litter in the river. I'll come over this bridge now now. <laughs> it looks interesting. Hey, it's the bowl's green. Wow, they're quite neat, eh? South African, South African Railways Bowling oh. Club. Hey! Wow! Amazing. They're incredibly neat. Yes. This is not our bridge of yesterday. No, no, oh. not, this is a different one. Now, I think, yeah, Karoo Park Recreation Club, South African Railways. It's all gone to pot, eh? You can see that this is the railway style building. Yes. I don't know. Do you think it's... It's not being used anymore. Oh yes, no, no. it's not. It doesn't look too bad, but openings have been built shut, so... Yeah. They can't destroy much more than that. Look at this one's roof, it's all gone. Whoa. Oh. Oh, this is completely destroyed. This was a school, babe. What? Yeah, look there. Oh, yes. Earth. Oh, wow. it's some preschool. I can't see. It used something, I think. You can just see what this is. Oh, it's Let's go in. So the gentleman said I can walk in. This is here by the Beaufort West Transnet. As you saw earlier, infrastructure, maintenance, signals, purway, and technical operations. Blue water. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome, sir. <laughs> this gentleman, yeah, just okay. kindly explained to me how this operates. This is a paraffin lamp. There was no electricity back then. They would light this lamp, and then they'd physically have to change it. The blue is go, and then when it's stop, they would move this down, and this would glow there over there, and it would be stop. That's crazy! Look at that. They were clever back then, let me tell you. Eh? Yeah, they had to be, uh, Ingenious. That's fantastic, eh? <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> That's cool. Brian's a cool guy. Friendly guy, eh? Yeah. I love the kookapan, eh? Yes, and it signals. I never knew that's how it operated back in the day. They were clever back then, eh? They made plans. They were clever back then already, <laughs> yeah. and we think we're clever today. Yeah, I know. Love it. So he explained how to get to the station. Let's see if we can find it. Let's go. I think we would have eventually found it because you wanted to come I over the bridge. I wanted to drive over this bridge. Wow, there's a train with lights on. <laughs> so I just station this. Yeah. That's operations, fire and emergency. from the there, train. There we go. So turn around? Yes. Big station. Yes. Modern. 
There's the red train. Okay. Must have been it that I saw the lights on. Yeah, definitely hear the motor running. I heard something now. Yeah, maybe it starts moving. Uh -uh. It's been standing for a while now. Definitely goings on here. Yeah, this this is very operational, but I think it's a main junction between. Yeah, it says Beaufort West. Oh, you said operations. Main junction with where Kimberley, Joburg, all these Beaufort West stations. Yeah, it would make sense. Eh? It looks big. Yeah. Fantastic. Happy to see. Nice. Oh, public library. Beautiful, eh? Yeah. You saw this last night. Oh six. Yes. Yeah, I did, but it was so dark. Yes, but look at the building next to it. Oh, that, that resembles the church, <laughs> yes. eh? Could this be the Magistrates Court or no? Don't know. Not sure. I would have seen a sign, I'm yep, sure. you would have. Yes, the Landros Contour, Magistrate's Office. Okay, all right. Somewhere I saw a sign with an arrow. Yeah. Oh, this is our favorite building, SARS. Oh dear. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> These cute little houses. Yes. Here. Big houses, eh? Yeah. Perfect West is not a small town. No, it's not. If you see here, it says Enslin 1 de Fort, the fort. And on Google Maps, it says it's a historic landmark, but it's a private residence. I just look at those stones in the front there. Somehow that looks old. Or oh, we want it to look old. But I do agree with you. So maybe that was all that was left of it. I don't know. And they just kept it and. Because the gentleman who helped us now, he stopped here. He says that it's been a private residence for a long time. Oh, there must have been something here maybe in the past. Must have been know. the site of oh. a fort. And who knows, maybe those are two walls that remain. Yeah. Oh well, we try to find it. And this is where the map shows it to be. Time to move on. From the fort? Yep. That is no more. We had to get ourselves two boiling hot hot chocolates. Check little marshmallows on the top, eh? Hey? <laughs> Fantastic. This oh, is gonna, I love hot chocolate. It's gonna, and it smells delicious. This is going to be stunning. Mm, and it is freezing. <laughs> Thanks, mate. How's the Beaufort West Dam? We're saying goodbye to Beaufort West Bo in the rain. Yes. Unfortunately, I have to use the wipers and do it from the inside. Um, because it is raining pretty hard. Yeah, I... But I must tell you this, my angel, I was pleasantly surprised with our visit to Beaufort West. Well, we saw part of the town, or we saw the town, like we've never seen it yes. before. Yes. We always just drove through, drove through, and bought just, snacks, and that's it. And, and fuel, and, uh, and maybe slept over, but just slept over, you know? Yeah. So, no, it was fantastic. We'd already passed this place, the wagon wheel just outside Beaufort West, 
and I can remember that some of you mentioned that you used to come here with family and things like that so we thought we'd just take a drive through and have a look Wagon Wheel Country Lodge It's been here for years and years yeah, and it years. has, eh? It has uh, The window wants to steam up I don't know just a quick drive through. Looks quite cool. They have a lot of rooms. They do. If you go down here. Oh, there's a caravan park, backpackers rooms. I love it when one drives up to your place. Especially for you with all the offloading. Yes. Backpackers rooms. Much bigger than I thought. Oh, it is a lot bigger. <laughs> this is all the stands. Yeah. A little pool. Very many. I really didn't think it was this big. Wow, that's interesting. Elephant is spouting water out of its trunk. <laughs> and I saw something interesting as we drove past. You also see it. It's big and red. A wagon. Has to have one, right? Oh. Pretty. That was interesting. I even got a helicopter landing I pad. Do, yeah. <laughs> wagon wheel. We are we are officially leaving Beaufort West now. Now. <laughs> 